Hi, this is the new Nord 3 from OnePlus and it might just be one of the best phones to buy right now. Why? Well, it's actually not any more difficult than that OnePlus has managed to hit the mark perfectly fine on a perfectly fine number of areas. First, the price is, albeit a tad high, still sensible, with a starting one of around £450 for the version with 8GB RAM and 128GB of storage, and £550 for the version I've tested here with a whole of 16GB RAM and 256GB of storage, which is probably the version I'd recommend both due to the better multitasking experience as well as that you can never really get too much storage. The system ship is the very competent Dimensity 9000 that, while not being as mega fast as for for example the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 still performs perfectly fine. And during my weeks with the phone I am yet to experience any uncomfortable lag whatsoever. Looks are always subjective and even though I'm not completely in love with the two camera circles on the back, the overall design and feel of the Nord 3 is still great. And I kinda like the color of the misty green variant I've tried here, however the phone also comes in a darker color that should have an even more rugged back if that is more to your liking. The screen is a 6.74 inch AMOLED panel with a perfectly fine resolution of 1240 by 2772 pixels. The bezels are okayly thin and the screen brightness of 1450 nits has given me no issues using the phone outside even in bright daylight, so definitely a big pass on the screen too. The main camera is, apart from the system chip, probably the best upgrade from the previous Nord models, now sporting the very capable 50 megapixel IMX890 sensor from Sony, resulting in great great images especially considering the price of the phone. The ability to shoot videos in 4K 60fps is also a great addition. The other two cameras, these ones in the bottom circle, is firstly the pretty ok 8 megapixel Sony IMX355 that can definitely snap some good wide angle pictures. Not with the same punchy colors as the main camera but still again perfectly fine and especially good for the price. The last camera is a macro camera with a 2 megapixel resolution and to this day I have no idea why OnePlus even put it in there because it is not good at all. Sure you get a tad closer than with the main camera but basically at the cost of everything that makes a picture nice. The 16 megapixel selfie camera is however perfectly decent and works great for video calls and other front camera things. OnePlus Oxygen OS on top of Android 13 provides a good user experience and everything from daily usage to switching between lots of different apps to even games feels snappy in without much issue at all. The sound from the phone is, you guessed it, perfectly fine and leaves little to be desired in terms of detail but lacks a tiny bit when it comes to delivering a wider soundstage, mobile version of course. I also really like the little OnePlus silent vibrate slider on the side of the phone, making it easier to quickly quiet the phone should you need to do so. Battery life is definitely a day with heavy use and about two days if the phone gets a rest every now and then. OnePlus also includes a fast charger in the box that is actually fast looking at you Apple with a whopping output of 80 watts as well as their own signature red charging cable. The only real downsides to the phone if you ask me are that the IP rating of only 54 so rain protected but not swim protected is a little ungenerous and also the fact that the phone completely lacks wireless charging. I however would take a fast wired charge of a wireless support any day but everyone is of course different. Also like mentioned I am no fan of the macro camera. Other than that though hats off to OnePlus for just slapping a good enough system chip and an okay amount of RAM together with a fair amount of storage, a great screen, mostly good cameras, fast charging and an included charger. It simply doesn't really have to be much more difficult than that. Thank you for watching, please share any questions or thoughts down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a nice day, bye!